Hello and welcome to Droid Box. My name is David and today I will be unboxing the Droid Box i8 Plus Remote Control. So this is the Droid Box i8 Plus which we will open up now. So inside you get a charge cable. One end plugs into a USB port so you can use that on your Droid Box for example. The other end plugs into your remote control. There's also a break off cable which allows you to connect another USB device to it. This is the remote control itself, so as you can see it's got a full QWERTY keyboard and there's also some function keys on there. You have uh, navigation buttons and the OK button for moving around on menus and you also have a media control here so you can play and pause, change the volume, skip tracks and so on. You've also got a touchpad here so you can move a cursor around the screen and there's left and right mouse buttons. On the top of the remote is the off and on switch and you've got the charger pole here. On the back of the remote control there's a small compartment where you can find the USB device inside and this bit plugs into your Droidbox USB pole. So what we will do next is show you how to connect your IA Plus remote control to your Droidbox. So to start using your Droidbox i8 Plus remote control, what you want to do is remove the USB dongle from the back compartment. And then put the cover back on. With your USB, plug that into your Droidbox USB port and switch it on with the switch at the top here to the on position. After a second or two, you will see the blue light to indicate that it's connected and receiving communication. So you can start using your remote control. So you can use the navigation buttons to move around the menu. You can also use the touchpad to move the cursor around the screen and you've got the left and right mouse buttons. So for example, we can go to there to open the browser and press the left mouse button to open it. You've got the keyboard as well, so you can use that for example to enter uh, web addresses. So I'll just quickly type in Droidbox and then move the cursor to there and that brings up your web page. Uh, you've also got left and mouse buttons here and there's a backlight to switch off and on if you do need to do that. Thanks for watching this video, we hope that you found it useful. You can find out more information about the accessories by clicking the link in the bottom of the video and also in the description. Don't forget to hit like and you can also subscribe by clicking the link in the top left. You can find more of our videos by clicking the link in the top right.